Hello and welcome to a hosted race here. We are in the 87 Legends here at Stafford, hosted by Gavin Lemons, Griffin2448 on YouTube. It's sort of like a uh, an unofficial uh, season finale for his viewer time slot, which has been on Wednesdays this season. It is, of course, week 13 now. So he put this together just as uh, something to do on the very limited scheduling of week 13. So hopefully this will be fun. I'm really bad, like I have been in the 87s all season. But I'm going to just kind of try to keep myself out of trouble and you know, see what happens. That's really all I can do, because I'm certainly not going to be fast enough to compete. <laughs> That's kind of what I've uh, concluded here. We had plenty of time to practice, and I barely got any better. So, um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Three is about as good as I can hope for. It was about like a 45 minute practice, and the best I ever got was a 290, which was not even close to the fast guys. And uh, hitting a three is about as good as it's getting, so that's my uh, that's my qualifying attempt. That was my best I could muster up, pretty much. So you will uh, you will notice certain numbers that are not 21. Here we are, 20.9 for Mitch on pole, which actually didn't blow me out of the water as much as I thought he was going to, because he was about a half second faster. And now he's only about three tenths faster. Eh, it's it's kind of like four tenths. Yeah, he's basically half a second faster. But, yeah, we got more people hitting the 20s. Nick's up there pretty close. Gavin and I are both kind of similar. Actually, look at that. That's kind of funny. 348, 349, 350. <laughs> So we might have a, a race with Gavin and Shane. If uh, I can put any sort of consistency together. So that's another question altogether. No idea how I'm going to end up on tires, for example. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm just going to try to keep myself out of trouble. I don't want to wreck anybody. I'm very not... I don't have the car control I like to have. The wall in turn three or turn four. I didn't have all teams on. I couldn't hear if they were saying something, unfortunately. But field fillers, Kirk Shelmer Dean's over here. My first time going into one as a joint, I learned that the car doesn't want to slow down that easily. Yeah, I'm gonna have to break my jack spelling the first lap to all get my end back. I'm gonna get it slowed down. <laughs> I gotta make my jokes, you know, accurate, right? Mm. Da, da, da. My ping is through the roof, so if you guys see me uh, blinking in and out, I'll let you know. That's like the, he's the first guy I think of whenever, uh. <laughs> whenever I think of the quote unquote field mm -hmm. works. Yeah, you're bad at some of the ones I've Yeah, I'll let you know. Um, but again, thanks everybody for joining. Pretty small field, but that's fine. Should be fun. Uh, you should know the drill. I'm just gonna run this like an official race, really. But uh, if there's some weird exploring issue, I'm not fun anyway. It. And uh, hopefully, it can be nice and clean. You have a good time. All right. I'm gonna mute the chat here right before we before the start. Um, I'll wait till we get to the grid, though, just to do my intro, and then I'll unmute it again. When did my brakes get so high? Did I put it at and 58? Do you, want, do you want to get up get warm up? I don't think we need to do this, do we? I don't like it, yeah. I'm cool. Let's get that. Yeah, I'm good. I won't move unless I'm going to earlier. Yeah, I'm sad. <laughs> Alright, so. Sounds like we might skip uh, warm up. We, we had tons Figured of time. To, uh, to don't have to do any heat race nonsense. Not very many people showed up. Uh, I imagine, I mean, Gavin kind of knew. It sounded like heading in. Like, not as many people will have Stafford. Not as many people will have the 87. And therefore, the people that have both 
It'll probably be even less. Good luck. Then you also have to be available back. at this time, <laughs> which is also questionable. So um, we'll just we'll be one of Good the slower luck, people. Everyone. Is uh, what we're gonna do here. Line up on the outside. Pit I'm gonna take it really easy. Down. Maybe I can like strike some gold or something with some very uh, slow laps and then get some really good tires or something. I don't know. It's the only thing I can think of to be competitive at all. Uh, but by the time my tires start actually helping me, I'll probably be four laps down. <laughs> so we're, we're just going to ride around, have some fun. Sunday drive kind of thing. Wednesday, Sunday drive. You have two. We got some fast Eastern people Eastern showing up because right. if this were official, it'd be a 3.3 straight the field. Despite uh, not so many people showing up, Fahrenheit. people that have shown up, pretty good drivers. Follow car number 77. 150 laps, so we will need to do fuel and stuff. Most likely, I would say, almost definitely. We'll step behind Gavit and do my best not to run him over in the first corner. That would kind of spoil the show, wouldn't it? His hosted race that just some lunatic just plows into the back of him immediately. <laughs> Let's not be a party crasher here. It's like a second gear start. Maybe uh, one to go. Probably not a third gear start, but it's pretty close. I ended up going with a setup that Gavin shared. I think I changed the gearing just a tiny bit. Uh, I'm extra slow, so I actually, you know, made it the gear shorter. Because I'm never going to be able to be fast enough to reach the top of the gear anyway. <laughs> that was the logic there, and it seems to be fine, so uh, maybe I'll blow my engine, I don't know. Green, 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 green. green. Car inside. Okay. Turn, please. Inside. Thank you, car. Yeah. It'll be very nice to the car today, so it maybe helps me out a little bit. Inside. Still inside. Looks like we can sneak Clear. in already. That's good. Oh, God. Here, it looks like we can self spin already. That's good. Oh, boy. I wasn't even trying all that hard at all. I nearly self spun, so that's cool. I'm sure I better not try at all during this race because if I'm not trying and I'm self spinning, can't imagine what will happen if I actually try to put the throttle down. The leader has just done a 21.1. That was a 21.9. It gets so tight in, in the center of the corner. I just can't figure it out. I don't think it's the setup, it's, it's me, obviously. Don't quite know how to get speed out of this thing, and it's kind of looking like we're going to be on an island right here. Looks like the guys ahead are pulling away, and we're pulling away from the guys behind me. So that will be interesting. Uh, so far, it's so clean, though. No one's wrecked, as far as I can see. Certainly no cautions yet. The gap ahead is now 1.1. Trying to find some speed out wrecking myself. That's the fastest lap of the race. My fastest lap of the race, all right. Progress. Our fuel window will open after 41 minutes and closes after one hour, three minutes. Well, putting in some laps here. Maybe my fear of putting the throttle down will help my rear tires. It seemed like rear tires were getting worn for people. Maybe people would start getting loose off exit, and uh, me being a big Freddy cat and not wanting to hit the throttle will help me later. 
Uh oh, I see smoke. We got mold. The gap in front is now. Looks like everything's okay. Oh, I think it was three. Jared might have uh, self spun at some point. Did not see him. He might have been in the infield grass. Something. You've just done a 22.0. That was a much better lap than last lap. Let's see if I can make uh, I can do any reproducible results here. Maybe just gain some speed. Okay. Not so bad. Whoa! Okay, that's bad. Don't sell spin. Maybe pushing a little harder is getting the rear tires heated up a little bit. I gotta be careful of that. I was hoping I would be able to keep up with Gavin and Shane, but it looks like they're just a tiny bit faster, and I already started behind them, so. It really feels like I'm lighting them up on throttle. The rear tires, I mean. So maybe we'll be patient with that. It will be very interesting to see how the car evolves over time. So I can see it getting very tight, or I can see it self-spinning. Speaking of self-spinning, is that what happened to somebody? Looks like the three again. Having some issues, it looks like. Well, it's well too early for tires or anything. Make sure I got this turned on. It, I might have missed some speech. I wish it was on by default. Shane, we're slow. I think there's a way to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm trying to keep up with you guys. <laughs> oh, they're going to the pits. Interesting. Oh, you're just back for saving. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, me too. Totally, me too. <laughs> we'll pretend that's what we're doing. I'm making an air pressure adjustment, so if I wreck, I'm blaming it on that. Air pressure adjustments? He's got the hacks going on here. Oh, hello. Who this? Spencer. <laughs> the leader, hopefully my audio is okay. I uh, added a noise gate to hopefully get rid of some of my squeaky pedal. My throttle pedal is a bit squeaky. You might be able to hear it there. Um, but hopefully not. I put in my calculator. We weren't going to make it on fuel, so I was topping off. Oh, are we? We weren't going to make it on fuel? That's interesting. I thought we were. But, uh... Good thing uh, we got the caution, then. I have no clue. I'll never pretend to know anymore in this league Welcome. or hosted races. 15.1 gallons. So that doesn't seem right. Are more people headed to the pits? We're under caution. Did it's I see closed. some more people going in? Man, I'm assuming we're making it, man. One left to I'll stay here and just be a roadblock. Last time following next time we might can make it, but I was showing 130 laps on my... Mine is at 160, does uh, open and go green, maybe I could uh, do some, uh, you know, trickery with that. <laughs> got a black flag, looking for a black flag clear. The pace car is in. Sorry, I was, uh, I was not going to advance the set for the, the caution there, but we never hit. Green flag, you're in fifth. Okay, Colton, as a car exits in the pits, heads up. You're in fourth position. I'm in fourth. I'm so fast. Well, look at me. Lightning speed. Sorry, I do not know the admin command. Hold on.
We haven't got that figured out, thankfully. Help Nick out. I think some people may or may not have been ready for the green. Listen, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I'm fast for a couple laps until they run me over. That lap was a 21.8. It almost feels like I'm fast right now. Until Shane passes me. I'm just gonna let him go. Inside. Clear. P5. Header is now in the lead. Yeah, we got some room behind us because of, uh... I think people were pitting, trying to top off on fuel. And they weren't quite ready. They're still going to catch us real quick, though, especially Mitch. He's going to be on our bumper in about 3.2 seconds. Slow car download. Ooh, we got slow car down low. What's going on up here? Is it me? Am I the slow car down low? I think we're good. Must have been someone in the infield. Well, we're in the top five. I did not think I'd be saying that today. It's getting closer. The gap's come down to 0.9. Obviously, there's a whole lot of time left, though. That lap was a 22.0. P5. I almost want to just... I mean, Mitch is going to catch me soon enough anyway. I just, I want to watch him and see if I can learn anything. I'm sure he's got his own setup or something that's helping, but obviously he knows how to get around the track too. So let's see if, you know, I can tell where he's braking and maybe how hard. And check out his line. Maybe find out it'll be a little bit faster potentially. Roberts, ahead is now 0.7. We've held up here a little longer than I expected, though. That's cool. All thanks to that huge gap, of course, but... That last lap was at 22.1. I kind of found a little rhythm here. It's not a fast rhythm, it's kind of like a slow tempo song, but we are uh, in some sort of weird syncopated rhythm. Oh, we got a pass going on behind? Wait, what happened to Mitch? He lost like two spots. They're battling back there. Ah, uh, yes. Just as I planned. Everything is going according to my 28 step plan. ends in me not making it to the end on fuel, probably. That's, that's where the plan just starts getting crazy. I am losing control of this thing. It's uh, a little bit edgier. Back into that weird, slow, offbeat rhythm. Let's get back into it. That's all I've got. The gap to Roberts ahead is now 0.8. I think we should make it on fuel. It's looking like we should be able to now, but... 
very same fuel calculator. I'm, I'm not very good at reading it. I mean, it, it allegedly says we'll make it to like 160 or something, but it's lied to me before. Theoretically, we would use less fuel as time goes on. But maybe not. The gap behind is now not protect. Nick's catching up to us, I think. Very spread out. You just Could mean we get lucky and not get very many more cautions, if any. Uh, if we get any self spins. Which, uh, I guess is pretty likely. Nick is on his way. It's coming up quick. Not gonna overdrive or anything, trying to stay away from him. I accept my fate. Like one more corner. You've just done a 22.3. Around us pretty soon, though. Got tight. Inside. We got to Robert. Still there. Ahead Clear. 0.9. That lap time was 22.4. Might be able to learn something. He's exiting, Thank you. He's exiting much faster than me. He's being more brave on thro oh, throttle. <laughs> he scared me. <laughs> he started getting sideways. Try to follow him. Try to follow his lead here. Three, we got a lap car. Getting really loose on exit now. Outside. Outside, clear. Well, you can't gas it up on the open. Whew. I can't really gas it up on the track either. <laughs> I don't have to go that high. I do feel like I've uh, for me as well. I feel like gotten I'm a little bit right faster now. by watching Nick. It seems like I've kind of gotten a better idea of how hard I can drive I'm into the corner. That traffic again, a little sketchy. Outside. Outside is clear. Don't. Don't get sideways. It tried. It tried to do it to me. No, it had to do it to me. Can we take advantage? No. Billy did a very good job getting Nick by him. Lost basically no time. Thought for a second we could take advantage. I'm surprised I'm even near him right now. Pretty sure he's supposed to be much faster than me. P6. Ooh, this is tough. This is certainly tough. We got loose on throttle. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. Not quite there. I 
Not quite there. Looking though, maybe making him nervous. He's getting real tight at the center. Outside. Stay low. Stay low. Outside, clear. Ooh. <laughs> that was scary. We made a pass. Oh my gosh. Kevin's gonna take fifth from us pretty soon though, I think, but we made a pass technically. That's pretty cool. It's now about 2.8 seconds. It's getting really loose on the throttle. That was a 22.5. We're getting some laps in though. So bad. Lap was a 22.6. Oh, Spencer's out. He must have had trouble or something. That's too bad. I wonder how Justin's doing. I know he was in here. I don't think, unless I missed it. Trying to keep an eye on the Gavin cam right now, aka my rear view. It's, uh, it's there. <laughs> Might have to let him by soon. Oh, for drove it bad. <laughs> I'm trying to get away from him, but I don't think it's gonna last. Was that 22.5? Oh man, I'm sweating. This is so intense. This is so hard to drive. I gotta loosen my hands off. Up the wheel, the grip's too tight, it's gonna hurt. We're only about a third of the way through this race. Your lap time was 22.4. Oh. Crazy. He's still there, though. I'm, I'm working so hard to try to stay in front of him, and he's just still there. Uh, terrible corner. He's going to get us now. Yeah, overdrove it. Inside. Clear inside. Inside. Stay high. I don't want to fight him too long, but... Oh my You're god, it's so tight out here. Okay, well, I thought for a second maybe, like, oh, maybe I can Sixth try to hold him off a little bit. Nah, <laughs> that wasn't happening. If there's a way to take that middle lane, I don't know what it is. How to do it, I mean. He drives in much harder than I do, I think. Maybe I should be doing that. Really, he's not far behind. He could pass me again for sure. I think I'm not good at tracks where you have to like drive in hard. And that's a lot of short tracks, and I think that's why I suffer on short tracks. I think I'm always just a little bit afraid to drive in hard. 
And then when I do, I don't know how to do it right either. <laughs> oh, the rear tires are spinning. It is spinning. <laughs> Soon my car will probably be spinning. Oh, my hand. You just just realize how cramped my hand is. Alright, I gotta like... Take it easy. It's not gonna make me faster to rip the wheel off the desk. P6. That last lap was a 22.7. Kevin is clearly a little faster. He, he, he's just much more consistent too. I have these bad corners every like every four laps or so where it just horribly bogs down and I lose like half a second. Keep up with him. Almost feels like I can use the power of the car to kind of get through exit a little bit better than I think I can. It's just kind of scary. <laughs> Okay, just overdrive. That's that's. Cool. Yep. yep, that was great. Perfect corner. All right. <laughs> Not only did I overdrive entry, but I somehow managed to overdrive exit too. Same corner. Your last lap time was at twenty-three point zero. It's pretty quiet on the radio. I think it's because everybody's really focused. That's just less people in here than, say, like the K5 Championship or something. Smallish group. Sixth place, though, right now, I'm very okay with. You've just done How was Mitch 5.6 back? Something must have happened, right? I'm not sure how he ended up back there. Uh, 22.6 <laughs> I'm trying to drive a little harder your last lap time was a 22 mostly through mid corner seems like I can gain some speed there if I'm very careful with it Both Gavin and I getting loose on exit there. That lap was a twenty-two point six. No idea how far ahead the leaders are. Maybe I can check that in a little bit. The gap ahead is probably four seconds. A little depressing though. Twelve seconds. That's not as bad as I thought. He's more than halfway around the track, though, given the 22 second lap times. Oh. That lap time was 22.6. Little bit slidey on entry there that time. Front is now 1.6. 
Nick in second place. Just seven seconds back, though. Tracy is dominating right now. I believe it's Tracy. So, yes. Is Gavin sideways in the corner, or was that just an optical illusion? Uh, 22.7. Are we good on fuel? I should probably check that again. Okay. Yeah, we should be fine. The gap in front is now just, just seconds. fine. Just fine. See if that changes. Oh, there's Tracy on our relative. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, I'm already in a coma and we're only halfway. What's after a coma? Double coma? A coma? I can't decide whether I like having the left sides on the apron there. I don't think it helps. I think it helps to be a little wider the exit so I can have a straighter shot. I wonder if I can uh, do a little bit better with like a diamond line. Alright Colton, you're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 1.6. something to this. I don't know, that was pretty bad. I think if I could replicate it consistently, I, there might be something to it, but... Nope. Nope. Stop it. Okay. The car just wants to kill me. It's standing in my doorway with a knife. It wants to kill me. It's funny, you can see the rubber being built up on the track in the corners. It just looks like someone has spun out in the corners. <laughs> Middles, you see like all that rubber right here? Oh my god. It's for me doing that. Me and some other people probably. Tracy probably has this one. Call me crazy. I think he probably has this one locked up. You've just done a 22.6. And there can always be issues with lap traffic and stuff. Hopefully not me. But he'd always like uh, find himself in the wall or something, get slidey, overcracked, find a wall at a bad angle. You never know. Don't wish that on him though. He clearly is uh, the fastest one out here at the moment. You've just done a 22.8. I'd love to finish this on the lead lap, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. The front is now 2.3 seconds. I'm just going to be doing my best. This is a this is an endurance test. That's what this is. You've got half your fuel left. Your lap time was at How difficult this is to drive for such a long time. Was a 22.8. Gavin's slowly pulling away from me, it looks like. I don't think I'm gonna catch up to Shane either. I don't know if I'm gaining anything. I think Billy and I are pretty close on speed. Seems like I've pulled away from him just a tiny bit over time. Like maybe a tenth every three laps or something. 
just barely. I'm sure he'll gain plenty back if I make any mistakes, so I gotta stay vigilant. too hard in there. The gap ahead is now 3.2. That lap time was 22.8. Lap traffic coming up again. Hopefully we'll catch them in a good spot. I'm not really going all that fast anyway, so... I have to take my time, not a huge deal. Easy, easy now. A little bit loose on throttle now. Kind of started using the brakes a little bit less Can entering the corner. Seems like it's got me some speed, but it could make the tires angry too, so I gotta be careful with that. That time I overdid it. Also can't do that either. Catching him at a bad time. Yeah, we figured it out. Power outside. Still there. Clear outside. All right, not so bad. What happened to Mitch? How is how 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 are we how how are we lapping Mitch? He was like half a second faster in qualifying. He has to have damage or something. There's no other explanation. Something's got to be wrong with that car. It must have hit the wall and got damage. Because there's absolutely no reason. Yeah, that doesn't look like it's driving quite right. That's probably what he's saying about me, but my car's fine. It's the driver that's broken. Not where I was going to go. <laughs> yeah, you're getting kind of wiggly off the corner. I hope they're not just now getting wiggly, because I've been on edge this whole time. Trying to stay in you. <laughs> I'm surprised I was even able to catch you. It's crazy. Mitch going high. Outside. Oh, hey, it's just right on that pit stop, though. Yeah, I did too. I was doing good, but I was trying to get around Ryan too hard, and I burned off my right rear. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Ooh. Justin's car looks pretty good. Like he's just having a nice ride. The front is now 2.6. And a nice that job. Goes high for us. Outside. Thank you to him. Clear high. Make sure I can actually finish this off properly. There we go. That was a 22.7. Gosh. Oh, that's right, Tracy's back there. No, don't lap me, please.
In other news, I've got $10 of iRacing credits for my participation last season. That's pretty cool. That probably be going toward renewing my subscription. <laughs> Nothing fun. But uh, $10 off a subscription is pretty fun on its own, right? <laughs> the gap in front is now 2.5 seconds. So that means I get to race in the first place. Was, uh, Mitch is on pit to... road. Something definitely has gone wrong with his race. That's it. Hate to see it. We have about 50 to go. The lap time was at 22.7. I continue to overdrive for the most part. Very uneasy on throttle still. I'm trying to use it to my advantage though and get some turn in the car. The results may vary. The gap ahead is now 2.6. Tracy's still catching me, and I'm like doing my best to hit some good laps right now. I really want to stay on the lead lap, especially if maybe a caution comes out. It, it really doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Just in case I don't get trapped a lap down or anything. I'm not sure what rules Gavin set for this, or they've got wave around those lucky dogs, anything like that. But uh, I will operate under the assumption that I need this lap, and so I'm trying to go, which I was the whole time anyway. You know, back against the wall. Start going a little bit faster. The gap in front is now 3.0. Theoretically, I'm still not going all that fast. He's still catching me pretty handily. Should I have been messing with my brake bias this whole time? Maybe get some turn in the corner. I don't think so. I feel like I would just be self-spinning. I think this is about as much rear brake bias, you know, brake bias to the rear as I can handle. The gap in front is now 2.7. Overdrove that really bad. Oh, tried to get it back on exit too, and I got loose. That lap time was twenty-two. Wonder what the tires are. I know the tires don't wear as much as they used to anymore, but they still probably aren't looking too good. Cause I have been drifting around this track for a long time now. Was a 22.8. No, Tracy, stay away. You're too fast. The gap ahead is now 3.1. You don't really need to lap me, do you? You can win without lapping me, right? <laughs> you got like a 200 second lead. Somehow on a 22 second lap track. Are we catching Shane? We're catching Shane. That's curious. Oh my gosh. Now watch as I do my best to not catch him as I mess up the corners.
Oh gosh, Trace is right back there. Trace is gonna catch us before we potentially catch Shane. You're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 2.2 seconds. Oh. How is he doing it? I don't know. I don't know how he does it. Probably not by overdriving. Nine. There's no traction in this car anymore. Car inside. <laughs> I overdrove that car. Car inside. Like, let's go. <laughs> You've just done a 23.5. Can I learn anything? I don't know how he's getting off the corner that fast, I can tell you that. Oh my god. The gap in front is now 2.8. Ow, how is he getting through the corner that fast? The car will not let me do that. There's not, we don't even see any, the person in second on the relative at all either. Pretty cool that we've gotten uh, such a green long green run I think it's pretty clear we'll make it to the end the gap ahead is now 2.8 seconds both without cautions and both me on fuel because it looks like my fuel's fine too It's not really working though. Don't think I'm catching Shane anymore. Looks like I was for a minute. Okay, Colton. Don't. Cup times are pretty consistent. Like the gap in front is now 2.8. Don't spin. Just like caution after all this time. Justin's actually catching us. It looks like. Let's see on tires. It's Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear. He uh, caught me while I was having a moment. <laughs> I didn't scare him too bad or anything. He's kind of just freaking out at the wheel for a moment. It's like driving on ice right now. That looks like fun though. That looks like the tires have a lot of grip for him. making it on fuel though so I don't know about pitting he might have just felt like he needed to or else he was gonna crash or something which I don't know maybe that's what Last I should be doing was the gap ahead is I think we just got some cloud cover it got a little shady out here is this some grip that we could very well need Really not wanting to turn on exit anymore. Not that it ever did, but especially now. It'll be 25 to go at the line here. All 
Tracy has gotten around Shane up there, so if there is a lucky dog, I will not be it. Shane pulled away again, plenty. Oh, the self spot. Oh my gosh, I'm still almost self spinning. This car's about to give up. Oh, I think we got Billy on tires behind us. Car inside. Clear inside. There's P2, who's Nick. Coming up to us. Not sure if he'll get to me before the end of this one, though. So we can be on the lead lap, not including this. <laughs> he is an outlier. You know, you throw out outliers and beta tests, right? You got someone lapping the whole field. That's an outlier, right? <laughs> Your last lap time was at twenty-two point eight. Front is now 4.4. I'm pretty happy though. It seems like we should be able to make it to the end of this one. And that is a uh, accomplishment of its own, I would say. So like I said, this is quite the endurance test. And reminds me of the time I did a full length Darlington race. Uh, yes. I still think that's like the only NIS race I've ever done. Maybe I've done like one or two other ones, but for some reason that's like the only NIS race I've ever done, and it's probably like the most grueling thing to do. I'm kind of happy I went with the shorter gearing, especially now, later in the run. Feels like I'm hitting the rev limiter just kind of perfectly, so I'm happy with that change I made. It isn't making me any faster than people that didn't make that change, but I am a better version of myself, I think, than I would be otherwise. Just uh, getting a little bit of extra speed there on acceleration. Uh, Got some lap traffic all coming together here. Looks like up ahead. Get my out for a moment. Everyone's doing a great job though, for how difficult this is. That's for sure. That lap time was 22.8. I am overdriving. I said that about a hundred times this race, don't. So. That is 15 to go. Oh man, that's a four tire slide. The whole thing's gotta be angry at me now. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 4.6. Oh my gosh, this car's giving up. But I won't, I will not give up. Not until we reach lap 149, I guess it would be, since we're a lap down. So whenever I say 15 to go, I actually mean 14 to go. So I was not fast enough to stay on the lead lap okay, in this one. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. That's okay, most Outside people were it looks like. Outside. Because Tracy is very fast. Clear high. Very good at short tracks. Especially <laughs> in the 87 at Stafford, it would appear. It's pretty darn fast at a lot of things in short tracks. The 
lap in front is now 5.1 seconds. Almost there. Looks like Justin Pitt on 98. I wonder if there was some, uh... Great job. I wonder Great if that would have worked out. I feel like we haven't lost too much pace, though. Like, we have lost some pace, but is it, would it be enough to justify that? It is a short track. Maybe I could have done better if I pit about halfway through this big, long final run. It's interesting. I don't think it, it would be much worth it for me, though. I think my uh, best strategy all along was always going to be just to stay out here, run my laps, not overthink it, just have a nice drive. A nice drive, a car that wants to kill you. We see Gavin now. Gavin all the way up to third. Remember when we were behind Gavin? Remember when we almost held off Gavin for a minute? Good times. That didn't last. The gap ahead is now 5.2. I don't have a chat muted or anything. Okay. It's just been so silent. I'm sure, I'm not missing people trying to tell me stuff or something. Nope, just a bunch of focus drivers right now. That's what I should be doing, instead of worrying about all that. Three car ahead. Uh-oh. Five. Five to go. Well, that's Shane. We're still not going to catch him, probably. <laughs> oh, boy. He picked a heck of a time to have trouble with only a couple laps to go. It's a good thing I've still been trying this whole time. Maybe I'll have a chance. I think his, t his car might be just completely giving up. Even more than mine is. Pressure him. We'll make him have to use up what's left of that thing. Oh, I don't think there's much left of my, my car. That was a 22.9. We're gonna try to get there. White flag. One more left to go. There's no way. White flag. Last lap. You've just done a 22.8. Car inside, clear. Just didn't ever consider it letting us by, seeing that I wanted to make a run at it, but not what? Couldn't quite get there. <laughs> that's alright, I didn't expect to. Holy smokes. Okay, that's that okay. was. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Oh my god, that was a tough race. Right yeah, job. that was a really trial. Well. Yeah, good win. Thanks for showing up, everybody. Sorry if that was a little boring. A little boring. But it was fun. <laughs> I was too on edge the last half of the race to be bored. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say I was too busy fighting my car to be bored. <laughs> good race, good win. <laughs> Entered a closed pit on the caution. Yeah, I had no grip off the corner. Oh. 59-51. I'll go ahead and share that. I don't know how Ryan was staying in front of me with his tires. Jeez. I 
I guess I sh I could have been yeah, driving in. Really good job doing that. I don't know how it's in front of you. <laughs> Did you have, you have low springs? springs? Uh, I was doing whatever. Yeah, I didn't know that much time to make. Yeah, if you ran low springs, you would kill your tires. I almost ran them. The lowest on Mitch told me you're going to kill your right front, then I put them back up. I did like 10 laps in practice, put them all the way down, and got down to like 80%. Yeah, so I, I wasn't going to catch him. He had that one mistake, and so I was thinking, you know, like, oh, maybe force him into another mistake. Um, put some pressure on him, make sure he sees me there. Thanks for the maybe if he made another one of those, I'd have something. But I wasn't going to catch him yeah, otherwise. No he was never in the way. That was bummer. So, no worries about that. He also yeah, very kindly got out of the way, too, on the last lap, even though he didn't really even need to. Oof. Sixth place, I'll take that, right in the middle. You get a full field of 28 cars going 130 laps green, that'd be the best thing ever. Oof, my hands really hurt. I didn't to go green so long, I thought we'd get a break so far. Right front died is what happened to Mitch, apparently. That's crazy, he lost a ton of speed. I would have assumed something was actually wrong with this car, I mean... I'm sure I'll show up in the engine like four or five times. <laughs> I'll be probably showing up too. At some point. Did I hit the wall? I'm sure I hit the wall at some point, right? But Tracy gets the win. Nick Gavin finishing out your podium. Was able to pull it a little closer to Shane there near the end, but he was faster for the majority of the time and got the spot. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Lap 7. He was the one and only caution, I think. Unless, uh... Oh, did this not, I don't think this brought out a caution. Did it? I don't know. I don't think it did. I think he was... Yeah, he was good about it. Kept it off the track. Oh, and then ran into more troubles, it looks like. Very difficult. Can't even blame him. Hi, trees. And then uh, that must have been the caution. So I assumed we'd get some more self-spin the rest of the race, but it never really happened. Yeah. One wall hit here. I think he had to go fix his car after that. Zach answers a little hard, a little high. Gathers it up. All the way to left. 109 from 39 to 109 that's how many clean laps we had and it's uh just a wall hit here a little bit of an overdrive and then i think he might have damaged his car with that hit it looks like he's a little bit sideways <laughs> that's probably why we're seeing it and then that's the end of the race just an unbelievably professionally run race <laughs> i say gavin spinning in the wall but that's afterward <laughs> um sony so many clean laps. It's guys that know what they're doing. So, very cool. It was uh, an endurance challenge. We made it to the end, kind of. Lap 149 instead of 150, excuse me. But, uh, never really ran into anything so much. So, I'm glad I was able to participate. So it's uh, it's uh, good to say I was one of the 12 people here in the, uh, I don't know what you would call this, the Stafford, how long's the track? Half a mile. So this is the Stafford 75. I don't know. But uh, that'll do it. That was all your incidents. Not too much to see. Like I said, lots of professional driving. So I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed our endurance challenge here today. And I hope you have a good one. See you.